Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again with another video, man. Peace, love, and abundance, and as always, I appreciate you guys for tapping into the channel. If you need to speak with me, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations, so I'll leave my link in my description. Make sure you guys follow me on all my socials and smash that like button. Now, one of the biggest downfalls that we have, and um, I, I, I want to do this video because people lose faith when they don't see results, when they don't see things at the time that they want to see them, right? And our biggest downfall is that we don't have patience. We want everything fast. We want everything to happen on our timing. And that's not going to be the case all the time. Mostly never, right? You see, they say when you have a plan, God laughs at you. You know why? Because there's so many variables that happens between where you're at right now and the finish line. It's never going to be just a straight line to, to hit your destination. Never. It's always going to be some zigzags. It's going to be some curves. It's going to be some loops. You might have to take 10 steps back. You might have to take a new route. You might have some few obstacles you got to get over. But there's always going to be some hiccups along your path. You have to learn how to give things time to grow. Okay? Things don't happen overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day. The world wasn't built in a day. If you really want to achieve something, it might take you a few seasons. You're not going to get results right away. Especially if it's something that's valuable. Something that's worth obtaining. It's not going to happen overnight. And I need you guys to understand this, man. You know, I've been an athlete all my life. I've been grinding all my life. And one thing I've come to understand is if you want to be good at something, if you want to be the best, you know, if you want to leave your name in the stars, you got to be willing to go through the pain. Patience is going to help you endure this pain because you know that everything's not going to work out right away. You know, you go to practice every single day and you're not going to be perfect at practice. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to get frustrated, but you don't give up on yourself. You understand this is the learning process. I have to fall down and get back up a few times so that my spirit, my being can align with what's going on and then we can recalibrate. You know, a lot of guys on a retention journey, you fail a few times, you know, you don't hit the street that you want, you relapse a couple times and then you feel like you're a failure because you're not getting the results that you want. You see all these guys, you watch my videos and you see, you know, all these years on retention that I've been doing and you see other guys on 100 day streaks and you feel like you're a failure because you haven't reached that yet. But you gotta understand, it's gonna take some time. It took me a long time. It took me years to be able to master myself. Years. Before I did YouTube, man, I was, I was in the trenches doing the work. Feel what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't get this overnight. And now that I look back, I understand that it was the process that taught me and that helped me evolve into who I am. It's not the goal that I reached. It was all that filler in between from where I was and the finish line that helped me evolve. And you guys got to look at your life the same way. Everything that you're going through every single day, right? Even in the present moment, this is molding and shaping you into what you need to be. This is why I always say be present. You got to enjoy the moment because this is what's going to take you to that next level. And what makes it worse is we live in this, this microwave generation right now where everything is about instant gratification. You know, with social media, with the internet, everything is about instant gratification. What can I get right now? How can I blow up? How can I become viral right now? And nobody wants to put in the work anymore. And it's the work that makes, that makes the success so much more sweeter. Right, this is why everybody's so miserable now, man, because nobody's nobody deserves 
what they're getting. I'm not saying everybody, but for the most part, most people don't deserve what they're getting. I've been on my YouTube grind for years. I've been doing this since 2019, and I just cracked 100K this year. But I've been putting in the work, grinding, grinding, putting out videos. And on top of that, I've been becoming a better version of myself. Right? I, I've been gaining more knowledge. I've been trying to challenge myself and my spirit to walk more righteous. And I did all this while I was grinding. Right? So that's the ingredients that you need. But instant gratification. Oh, man, I started a YouTube channel. It's been three months. I ain't go viral yet, so I'm, I'm going to give up. That's the mindset of a lot of people. You know, I'm in the gym. I've been in the gym for a couple months. I'm not seeing results, so I'm going to give up. I've been on my retention journey for a couple weeks. I'm not seeing results, so I'm going to give up. Why are you stopping? Right? Why do you quit? Why do you give up so easy? You already made your mind up that you want to change, that you want to take on this journey. So why are you stopping? Why don't you see where this goes? You see, patience is the companion of wisdom. A wise man is always learning, always observing. A wise man understands that he doesn't know everything. The more that you start to learn, the more that you know you don't know anything. And we have our minds so made up that it won't work out for us. Based off of what? Our own fear, our own insecurity. You never know. You might see results in three months. Right? You only gave it two months. You know? I seen that meme where the guy is digging for a diamond. There's two guys digging for a diamond. One guy got the diamond right. It was a nice size one. And then the other guy still ain't hit his diamond yet. So he's looking at the other guy with envy and jealousy. And in the picture, it's showing that if he would just keep digging a couple more strikes with that shovel, his diamond will be 10 times as big as the other guy's. But nah, he gave up on himself. He quit. He's so worried about the other guy and his success that he didn't lost faith in himself. He didn't lost patience. He quit. And this is what a lot of us do. We give up before we receive our blessing. We give up when things get hard. And we all know when things get hard, that means you're about to receive something greater. Things always get hard before they get better. Always. You always got to go through that storm before the sunshine comes. You see? This is why the Most High gave us spirit guides. You have your spirit guides who are meant to guide you. Because we can't see past the forest. You know, we right in the middle. We smack middle in the game. You on the field. You can't see everything that's going on on the field. You only have a, a, a select perspective, a select view of what's going on. But the guy in the press box, right, that's where your Spears guys are. They're in the press box. They see the whole field. They can see both sides, offense and defense. They know what's going to happen. And they can call down the plays. All right, this person's doing this. They call down the plays. And then you receive that perspective. You receive that guidance, that reassurance. You see? We got to allow time for things to grow, man. But just like a plant, right? You got to keep giving it water. You got to keep feeding it sunlight. Giving it love. And it's going to grow. It's going to grow slowly. But it's going to grow eventually. The same thing with your life, your goals. You got to water it. You got to give it sunlight. You got to feed it love. Positivity. You got to believe in yourself. You see? We got to stop giving up on ourselves so easily, man. You're not going to achieve nothing in life by doing that. Appreciate the grind. Appreciate the process. That's what makes life worth living, man. You know? I want you guys to win. I want you guys to be successful in whatever you do. But I also want you to understand that it's going to get hard. It's not going to be easy all the time, dog. Like, for real, it's not going to be easy. And I'm speaking to y'all from a real place. As a guy who didn't have a lot of confidence growing up, I always had people in my ear telling me I can't do this, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't have I don't have what it takes. But one thing I did have was persistence. One thing that I did have was courage. Never gave up on myself. 
You see, I was patient. I understood, right? Let me just worry about what I can do today. You know, when everybody in my school was calling me slow, all right, let me start doing some push-ups. Let me start doing some extra work on the weekends. Let me go run some miles. Let me get my endurance up. Let me get my speed up. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show everybody that you don't dictate what I can or cannot do. You don't live in here. You don't know what's going on up in here. You don't know what the Most High has planned for me. You don't know what my purpose is. You see, you got to have that mindset, man. You got to have, if, if, look, if nobody believes in you, you got to be your number one fan. If you want to start a YouTube channel, you got to be your number one fan. You got to love your videos. I don't care if you're the only one hearting your videos. You're the only one that's commenting on your videos. Be your first fan first. You see? And everybody, everything else is going to follow. Make sure that you love what you're doing first. If I post a picture, I make sure I like it first. I don't care if anybody, what anybody got to say. I'm going to like it first because I like my content. I like what I do. You got to be your biggest fan. Okay? You got to be your biggest supporter. That's just what it is, guys. So, hey, don't give up on yourself. If you need help, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations, man. So tap in with me. I'll leave my link in my description. You guys let me know in the comment section, have you dealt with lack of patience? You know, I want to know your story. So go ahead and leave a comment. But with that being said, y'all have a beautiful day and I'm out. Peace.